how would anything be 100% successful, right? It's just not. Ultimately, the deciding factor is the person and the person that chooses to become better. It's as I told you at the beginning that your income growth will never exceed your personal growth, okay? So if you don't embrace becoming a better person, if you don't embrace a better attitude, if you don't embrace a better mindset, if you don't embrace a more intense action about your day and what you're willing to achieve and a more winning attitude, then you can't expect to win, okay? You, you cannot grow unless you embrace a personal development, know that you need to improve. If you feel that you're perfect as is and you're gonna say, well, the company didn't work and it sucks, but you never looked at yourself, you never took some personal accountability as to what you needed to do, use a product, share the product, be an example of the product, talk to people, share the, you know, if you never did anything with it, then you can't expect it to do anything for you. But what I've seen in my company is that anyone that takes a step towards the company gets the same in return. That's what I've seen. Uh, one of the greatest things I learned from Michael Jordan's coach is that, Michael Jordan's coach, Tim Grover, he said, in life there's coolers, closers, and cleaners. A cooler kind of sits back and does okay at his job. A closer does one thing or two things really well, but they, but they don't really, you know, you can't, they can't be counted at all costs. But a cleaner, a cleaner does whatever it takes to achieve the job. Now, if you really want to make it to the top in network marketing, meaning making those 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 50,000, 60, 100,000, $200,000 a month, you're going to have to have a mindset of a cleaner, meaning somebody that is willing to do whatever it takes. It's Friday night. No, it's a Saturday night as I, I'm here in front of you and you know, I was invited to a party, but I chose to stay here making these videos. Why? Because this is more important. It's more important to me to get a video like this out and potentially reach a, a person like yourself, a person in my team, send this video to people on my team. It's more important to me. It's almost like there's really no competition. You know, well, I think the party would be nice and it'd be cute and there's a meal there and we get to sit down and just catch up, I don't know, bond, you know, it's not gonna be this, which is the work. And to, so you're starting to see, so in my goals, my goal is to get to diamond with Advocare. And so I hope you're starting to see what I'm talking about, the personal development at play here, where it's, it's not a game where someone might say, hey, I wanna be diamond with Advocare. But if you're, they're drinking alcohol tonight and they're not using the products, they don't work out. Does that make sense? They're, they're not aligned with the overall statements, the messages, the products. They're not being a leader in the company. I hope that makes some sense. So they could be maybe silver or gold. It's not to say that they can't achieve some level of success. What I'm trying to get at is just the, the key lesson is pers personal growth comes before income growth. Okay, the, the next one is leadership. Does your company offer leadership training? Uh, we have success goal, for example. We have success system, okay. Uh, basically, you need to ask yourself, does your company, the company you're considering, offer a way for you to get trained? And do they instill concepts of leaders, leadership, do they want you, again, to become a better person? And do they emulate these things in their messages, in their principles, in the way they carry themselves? If they do have something in play that you can clearly see, some sort of set plan, then this is a decent company so far, if it meets these top three ideas already. What you will need is the right amount of patience, intensity, and perspective. You'll need the right blend of patience, <laughs> intensity, and perspective. Meaning that when I first started at network marketing, I wanted a Lamborghini. I wanted to just make it to the top. I wanted to grow really, really fast. And well, uh, that's the thing is that 
even through all the pitfalls and all the failures and all the things that didn't go my way, I stuck with it. And even now, as I've gotten a certain level of success, some people could, some people might think, oh, well, it's just, you know, that's fine. Or they might, they might lay off the gas. When I'm getting ready to double down to the next level, you see what I'm saying? So you have to really know where you're at and look back and see why you're at where, why you're at where you're at, gain some perspective, recalibrate, push down the intensity, but have patience. Like it's a blend, okay, to get to the top. You can't just, oh, okay, well, you know, whatever. Like you, does that make sense? You can't be so immature about the results you're getting. You have to have a certain level of accountability, perspective, understanding. You know, people, everybody wants the good life, but again, few people are willing to put in the work and understand that to, the reason it's the top is because it's challenging to reach these understanding of these levels, okay? <laughs> it's not all about Lambos, but it's important to dream. As I told you, my first, the first car I wanted when I joined our marketing was a Lamborghini. There was some young guy there that joined the same company. He was making like $10,000 a month. And I thought, oh my goodness, wow, that's so awesome. And I don't know if he, still, if he still is making that amount of money. It's been so many years. But again, what I've told you is that it's not all about Lambos. Like I've gotten, I've had two pretty cool cars, you know, that for me, for me, I started out with a very old car. So I've had two decent cars as I've grown in my entrepreneurial quest and journey. And I currently need a new one. But what I'm saying is that it's not like it's going to happen overnight. So you, while you, you can't just make it about the car, you can't just make it about the external. And while that's true, you also do have to focus on the better life within and stay driven. So it's again, it's a blend. Okay. Teamwork. Care about people. I'll be sending this video uh, to my team. That wasn't the original intention when I got in front of it, but I do care about my team. And so I'm going to send it to them. And so if you're watching this and you're on my team, thanks for watching. I hope it's helping you. Uh, if you made it this far, right? And so understand that you have to care about people. I've already helped significant, a significant amount of people get in better shape. I've already helped a significant amount of people understand the quality of the products. So then what's next for someone like myself? Do, is it gonna be the same level of growth that gets me on fire? Likely not. What's gonna get someone like me on fire is to help a community expand their level of understanding, a community get in better health and fitness and a better understanding of finances and growing financially and getting into leadership and growth. Does that make sense? That is far more of a challenge and far more interesting as to where that could take me. <clears throat> then, for example, the levels I've already been at. Share with your power base. In network marketing, there's something called <clears throat> the warm market. And you do get out a list, uh, a piece of paper, and write down people close to you, and you want to talk to those people. Now, everyone in my warm market has, been t has heard about, about AdvoCare. This, today at the gym, I was on the stepper, and I told this woman beside me about Catalyst, which was one of our products. So I share the product with everyone. My aunt's used it. She, got, she lost 36 pounds this month, uh, this year, with, to get ready for her daughter's wedding. Uh, all my clients have used it, like I said. My mother, my sister, my brother, his woman has used the products and is using the products right now. You know, people close to me, my friends, my friend in Austin, like everyone, everyone has used the products. I'm actually now looking to reach out to people just like you, people I meet on the street, in the gym, it doesn't matter, online doesn't matter. I'm now at that point where I'm expanding. So when you start though, you're gonna need to tap into what's known as your power base, as Grant Cardone calls it, uh, or, and or the warm market. It's the same difference. It's just two different terms. Power base, 
warm market, okay? Meaning people close to you. And if you have, you might be shy at first, but if you have the first elements in play, meaning a good product that's competitive, it's like if I call you and I say, hey, listen, I'm selling iPhones. You know, I got them at a good price. I could help you get them at 20% off. You know, does that make sense? If the product is good, you're gonna be happy you got that call. That's why the first part of having good product, et cetera, et cetera, and the leadership and the integrity and the ethics and all of that is, is so important to the next part, okay? Which is calling people close to you. Because if you have that confidence and a good quality product, you're gonna feel very good to reach out to them and you know you're sharing something of quality and that's not gonna ruin your reputation. That's why it's so important. Purpose. Like I told you, it's a, it's a Saturday night and I'm here making this video. What's driving me is a purpose is something simple. It's such a complicated word. We all understand it, you know, what's the purpose of this camera? Well, to capture videos. What's the purpose of food to, you know, feed you? But our purpose as humans, what's your purpose now? What's your purpose in watching this video? What's your purpose in making it this far? Not 